so I'm going to make my second bowl. Now this is my first bowl. Um, turned out pretty nice. And for my second bowl, I'm going to use this rock, which is not very flat on the bottom, so it sits all crooked. The bowl is going to go on this side. So I'm going to use a laser level and mark where the flat bottom is going to be, and then I'm going to grind it off. I started on the back by uh, using a dry angle grinder. Uh, this is a 10,000 RPM grinder, and I just cut cross hatches in the back, uh, and then eventually I'll chisel them out. You'll see here in a minute. Uh, I did end up going a little bit too deep here, so there were a couple grooves that were deeper than the others, so when I had to grind off the back in the next step, it took a lot longer than I had anticipated. Uh, because I had to take the whole bottom down to that, that depth. I guess nobody would see the bottom when it's sitting on a table or something, so I didn't have to do that, but it would have bugged me if there was uh, imperfections in the bottom, so I just kept on grinding away. This is a wet stone grinder. Uh, it, it rotates at between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs. I had it about in the middle of that range. And uh, with the polishing pads they use later, you can't use the 10,000 RPM machine. Uh, plus this puts water to it. Um, there's still a mist, so I like to still wear a respirator. But uh, I spent a long time on this stage, probably, probably close to an hour, just getting the back flat because of those deep grooves. It wasn't, I, I thought it was going to be difficult to keep it flat uh, across the whole thing, but with my line there, I worked down to the line, and it, I checked it once in a while with that board, but it really was easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher. I made some minor corrections along the way, but nothing major. Um, so it, it went smoothly, although it took a long time. Here I've moved on to the other side of the rock, the bowl side, and I'm doing the same procedure, cross-hatching it with the dry grinder again. Uh, this, this, this part is pretty quick, it doesn't take very long to do. Uh, the stage after this takes a lot longer.
Here I've moved on to the wet grinder with the cup wheel on it again. Uh, this stage took a really long time. Uh, it was, it's, you got to really work at getting into those tight corners with the grinder. And it, it's, it's not, I don't know if there's a better tool for this, but it's a little bit hard to get in there. Uh, when I get done with this, it's still pretty rough. Uh, and then I move on to 30 grit with a soft backer, and that starts to smooth things out. Here's the 30 grit grinder uh, and this was also pretty time consuming to get all the scratches out from the last grinder. Uh, the last grinder you're using a, a hard edge thing so it leaves pretty big grooves in it. So there's a lot of time spent here with the 30 grit. And then after this all the stages go really fast. Uh, the, the rest of the, the pads that I use I probably spend five minutes on each one, and so uh, th this is a time-consuming part, but then from here on it's easy, easy going. So this is after the 30 grit's done. Uh, this has been dried off, in, in the bowl part at least. And you can see it's smooth. Uh, there's, there's no noticeable scratches. It's just a dull finish at this point. Now it's all finished. Um, I end up using, uh, let's see, 30 grit, 50 grit. 100 grit, 200 grit, 400, 800, 1500, and I finished up with 3000. So uh, you can see the 30 is pretty well worn out. But I have more. Turned out nice. Uh, good shine to it on the back. I only did this to 30 grit. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, smooth, you can't see any marks in it anymore, but it's, it's not shiny. Did make a little mistake right there when I was chiseling. I knocked off a little piece I didn't mean to knock off. Um, I kind of wish it was a little bit deeper, but it's hard to get a pad this big uh, into there and get all the curves very well um, when it's deep, uh, especially with the uh, with this hard grinding wheel. It's just really hard to work it in there and get it very deep at all. So I might get smaller pads in the future. Uh, they make, these are four inch, I think they make a three inch uh, pad. Um, maybe I could get in there a little bit better with that, I'm not sure. Um, something I might try in the future though. Turn out nice, very happy.